Okay, welcome back. Uh, before we get on to what is the last map of the game, I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes look at what is actually going into it. So what you're seeing here is all of my save games. This save game right here, 50, uh, the 15 Archmage one, <clears throat> 23 hours, that is my original gameplay. So the day I bought the game and started playing it, that is the save I actually played it on and never deleted the original. It's also the one I spend trying to work out how to solve all of the puzzles. So really, to solve the whole game, it has actually taken me 23, uh, 23 hours and 51 minutes to actually complete the whole game. <clears throat> because the time difference between when I solved a particular map and when I'm recording it for you can be substantial and a lot going on. I practice each map prior to recording it to make sure that I can find everything quickly and efficiently or mostly find everything quickly and efficiently for you to waste as little time as possible. And that's that one there. That's my practice save. So I spent 10 hours practicing every mission um, completing all of the things again and finding all of the secrets and unlocking all the hidden doors again all on uh, that map or that save. That brings me to the recorded save. So I'm practicing for 10 hours. It took 23 hours to find everything and solve everything. I practice it again for another 10 hours so that I can record what is now so far six hours of total solution video where it's nothing but how to solve the puzzles, how to find the secrets, how to find the hidden doors and so forth. That's down to six hours. Now that's the actual save that you see, that, that's the actual save that I inevitably end up putting on YouTube. <clears throat> However, it gets trimmed down from that again. So all of the screen loads, uh, the transitions from this to the workshop, from the workshop to the puzzle area, so forth, that all gets cut out. Uh, so that it's actually less than six hours of video you're actually watching. So that gives you a behind the scenes of what actually goes on to bring you the solutions um, and help you solve the problems. So we're, you know, we're talking about uh, almost 34 hours of work in the game just all reduced down to what will what was six would probably be seven hours of the total solution video so let's move ahead with I think this one let's move ahead. <clears throat> Okay, so the mine chamber is exactly as it, the name suggests, it is a mind chamber. You are in somebody's mind, or something's mind. And as a result, it's going to waste a lot of our time. So don't, you know, feel free to fast forward through stuff. Um, rooms are going to change shape, hallways are going to move, stairways are going to, that were there are going to vanish. Doorways that were op that were available when you when we came into a room will be gone when we turn around. Um, all kinds of things like that are going to happen. Um, <clears throat> aside from the end game fight, this map has one of the biggest fights in the entire game. It it uh, covers uh, the fights with. Um, uh, it covers the fights with every single mob type you have fought through the entire game. So you will end up dealing with <clears throat> these guys again that you dealt with in the very beginning. And you'll also be dealing with flying sorcerers and you'll be dealing with the glowing shielded guys and humans. They're all going to come out to play. Uh, that's going to happen in this map and I'll show you where. So let's dive into the madness, shall we? Lady, there you are. What have they trapped you in? Now, you just saw Krutz appear, say something, and vanish. In my practice session, just prior to this, he didn't actually vanish. 
he was just standing there floating in midair. I guess it was some kind of a bug. And he wouldn't move, he wouldn't say anything, and he wouldn't do anything. So if you get hit with that bug, what the way I got around it was I used this to find a spot around him, and I shot forward. Okay. So, good information for you. Wait! Stop! Where? He swallowed her! She's gone! I hate the charm! I hate them! Into the mind we go. So, <clears throat> you look at these, they are actually doorways, but they're sealed up. I mean, they've got doorway frames, but they're sealed up. They'll be unsealed later, you're going to see. This uh, hallway we're going to go down is a complete waste of time. We're going to have to come back. Uh, then they'll send us down that hallway, I believe it is, which will be another complete waste of time, and we'll have to come back. The thing to watch for is the saved game notices. That tells you the map has changed. <clears throat> Save game. The map just changed. Now I'll, t I'll show you just how much of a waste of time it is. It's a dead end. But because we're in the mine chamber, the mind has imagined a whole new map. The entrance that we came in through is gone. And now it's that doorway. There are no secrets here. There are no treasures. Save game, dead end, go on back. I think this time the stairs are gone. Yep, no stairs. <clears throat> so you just have to go down there. There's just no way around it. And now you'll notice now all the doors are sealed. There's no way out. So just turn around. Full 360 degrees and we have a doorway. That's, the, that's not the doorway we came in through. called blood room and you'll see why I call it a blood room finally we're getting somewhere oh shush now let's find the green lady and get out of this madhouse okay. now if you go any way other than where the way I'm going it leads to a circular path okay Thank you very much. Lots of blood. Ooh, yucky, yucky. Okay. Welcome in the More fun. This drove me. This drove me absolutely batty. This completely drove me batty. Trying to get things and do things. <clears throat> What you have to think about is time is spending like this. Life this is a chest. Look how big it is. It's way too big for a chest. That skull is too huge to be lifting up. He's too high to put it into. That door is way too tiny. What's wrong with this picture? And you have to also look at the idea that you've got open doorways and you haven't solved anything yet. What you discover when you go through those doorways is that the room has multiple versions. So this happens to be the small version where we were was in a, lar a large version. And what we're doing now is prepping, the work we're doing here is prepping that room for how we get to things. The eyeball that we're going to end up collecting is for a door in another room. So th th these three room 
games are all about differences in perspective. Like under there, there's a reward. Don't bother trying to get it. You'll get it in the next room where it's bigger. Just like that eyeball, you don't get it here, you get it in the next room because the eyeball is too small there. Striving never, striving never. Fading chances, fate it dances. It is losing hope, hang the rope. Time is bending, life is in. As I said, this is an eyeball for a door. That door is way too small. Striving ever. So this is actually a medium room. Fading chances. That's the large room there. Chances. Time is bending. So when we moved that Life ramp in the small room, we actually also moved it in this room too. Striving ever. Thriving. Are no secrets ever. here. And everything just saved, as you can see, dead end. As soon as we get that save message, it's just like the Matrix and the cat that uh, gave everybody deja vu. Uh, something in the map just changed. This one took me a uh, not not like a huge amount of time, but it took me a little while to figure out. For the longest time, it didn't dawn on me that you could pick this up. <laughs> it's a simple thing. You just pick it up. I kept trying to bend down and do things with it, and it turns out I can pick the damn thing up. Open that door. Oh look, goodies! Yay! book here I'll pick it up just for completeness he hammers you don't need it okey dokey now that was that one let's do this one oh guess what a blow down wall Goodies, yay! Wrong way. Grateful, yay! Somebody asked me about <clears throat> potential spell uh, value of the colors and quite frankly I, i've never i don't even really use the colors um <clears throat> the only time i've used colors is when you get rainbow on this map i've used that i don't really don't think the colors add any value at all they don't count as an ingredient when you're mixing your spells they're just a a side thing you can toss in so i really don't think the colors do anything for Right, now we gotta get that one. Have we got it all turned? There we go. Let's throw that one there. No, I got my map turned around. I hate when I do that. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of a neat map. So you're looking around, it looks really simple, right? So we have four teleport pads, and we have four teleport receiving pads. Three guesses what happens when you step on a teleport pad. You have a treasure chest there, and a problem to solve over here. You have rings with a combination lock there, three of them, and a fourth one up there. 
so you can kind of start to put together what's going to be happening. And you've got a health pot and a health pot again that tells you a little bit about what's going to happen. Sadly, there's no good place to hide on this map at all. So it's and you're uh, you can end up being back and forth. So it's a little bit of a run around. I do believe this chest is available now, but you don't have to do anything to get at it. Okie dokie. Now this likes to light up multiple at a time, which is a real problem, so watch out for that because it will stop, it, it, it can be problematic. And you know how to do these, rotate till you get it quick, Just rotate there, grab, rotate a little bit and let go, rotate a little bit and let go, just keep doing that till you get it quick. As in the other maps, we have a key. The kicker is, okay, the key goes on the other side. It has to like to be on the side. Good. So you're going to put the key in and you're going to rotate it. Uh, when you do, mobs are going to start appearing on this side that you have to come down and fight. Uh, they can shoot up at you, you can shoot down at them if you have the range. Uh, the other thing to note is when you put the key in, the handle can end up um, interfering with the graphics in such a way that your head ends up inside the butt of this and everything goes black. Move your head. It happened to me and some people can think that they've hung their game. So if you do like this, oh no, move your head. And that's how we do that. Now, it would have been better if I could have lined them up better. So I get two in one. That's uh, just a tip for you. That's where I'm failing. So if you can manage to line them up better, it'll be much easier. But that wasn't too bad. 
And as you can see, you can outrun and, and dodge the shots. There. Not too bad. Things are gonna get a whole lot worse than that. This is a neat room. Uh, this had to be stumped for a while. So, okay. When you're looking at this, I want you to think of it as flattened out and brought over this way. Don't do that or it'll confuse you. Flatten it and bring it over this way or, or just bring it over just like that and you'll start to see how things work. I, K and K, so I, K and K. Think of it as three spots. If you come up close, you can see there's evidence of three spots. That's what you want to do. Actually, those might be the, I don't think it's IK either. Okay, so, want IK here. You want K over here. I'm just gonna see it that way. Hi, hi. You can only see it with the red. It's K. I thought it might be him on the bottom, right? Let's just see. That's M in the middle. That's how that one saw. Let me check that though. That's interesting. So this is the original. So it's actually already burned into the wall. KM is already there and IKI is already there. So you don't actually have to go through all of the colors, but that is how you're supposed to solve this room. Is as you rotate, the room changes color and you get different color letters. <coughs> All right, so this one actually tripped me up in an interesting way. The first time I solved it, I solved it like this. And as you see, the bridge comes up. This is not the best solution. Okay. It's nice, but it's not the best solution. And it may be part of the secrets you have to find. The best solution lies over here. It's a coin. Throw it in. Rainbow color. So that would be a reward to find. Fergie takes it up for us. <clears throat> now if you feel like you're you're being um, ferried to your doom, uh, that would be accurate. The next uh, area is a massive fight um, between you and every 
kind of enemy you have ever seen in the entire game. As you can imagine, there's no easy way around it. There's also a secret in here. Okay, so you saw, we've got two health pots on us. I may grab a health pot and bring it over with me, come to think of it. It's not a bad idea. So I like to do it to, to, to play this one behind that skull over there. It is by no means perfect. It is full of problems all its own. But from here, I only have two points of attack, there or there. And I can go back and forth between them. My back is not necessarily covered. They can come up and get around behind me. If I'm feeling overwhelmed, I can just tuck back here and play it this way. Uh, there really is no good defensive position on this map uh, that you can fight the whole thing with. There are some, but you're going to have to come out from under, from behind them eventually. So, uh, in the practice, I completed it right here. Uh, I one-shotted it, so I'll do that again. All with wind. I think there was one enemy that was that likes to co go up there and fire at you. You have to deal with him with like a fireball or something, but the rest is all with wind. Now, you saw we came in right there. There's the skull I'm fighting behind. And out here on this bone, there's a secret. secret for this particular spot. The other issue is how to get this this party started and really the only thing you can do uh, it's when you're a certain distance from that door it kicks off so you just got to get a certain distance from that door. Start hearing the heavy breathing. That's the humans coming. They got a spell coming. Humans.
down.
guess we'll pick Reflect Shield. Again, not that I've ever seen it be useful. But we have it now. So that is this map. You know about the secret over there. You know how the fight goes. I should run around and pick up a couple of health pots while I'm here. Actually, I'm not even going to need them anymore, I don't think. Let's just move on. Okay, you get to the center here where the big skeleton is and go through the door. Oh, look, a top one. Yay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This one's kind of a surprise. There is goodies over there. And I'm gonna warn you now, um, there are two goodies here for Fergus. Give one to Fergus and let him go away and then get the other. I have mistakenly gone quickly about it, grabbed one, gave it to him, grabbed the other, and he didn't come to get it until I dropped it and picked it up again. So if you do grab the one, then open the chest and grab the other, how do you do how you fix that is you just drop the item till Fergus is gone, pick it up again, and Fergus will come back. But if you pick them up too quickly, Fergus will not take the second item. Dear Algwyn. And you'll notice there's another bug here. I just received a whole bunch of points. I received 19 points, or I'm not received, but I've accumulated 19 points of nothing. So 15 is the highest level you can go, and it's kind of messed up here. <laughs> okay, so. Go up each of these uh, three things, and you remember the little room box that we had before? You're building it. All you're doing is you're building that box. La la la. Come back here. absolutely nothing in here to find until you get this box built. Now everything you're going to do and find is now inside that box. Uh, but you have to get in the box first. Now for those of you who haven't figured that out yet, here's how. You're going, how the hell do I get in that box? You make the box bigger. Here we go. You don't think it re reverses, but yeah. And we're back into another one of these fun rooms where the only door is the one we came in through, but that goes someplace else. This, I don't know, it, it's that same grass or, or straw heart that we saw in a couple of in the oubliette, but we never get to touch it or what or interact with it at all, so I don't know what it's doing there. All right. So, I'm going to tell you what you need to do here, and you need to do it quickly. Otherwise, you need to run out and try again. Other side of this door, there's a bit of a run, and then a set of stairs that goes down to a trap like the one we just saw. Cage. There's a bolt on the side of the cage that holds the door shut. The lady in green is inside that cage. You have to grab the bolt and slide sideways to get the bolt to unlatch and the door to open. There is uh, an energy box that's coming at you that's going to envelop the entire area and, and burn everybody. 
The green lady, once she's unlocked, will make it go away, but you don't have a lot of time. Okay? There's the enveloping energy that's coming. Thank you, my child. I am relieved you are here. That was unpleasant. The crone of Tymark said you'd help us build a scrying device to transport us to where Galfroy took Mage Alvoy. Will you? Of course. Take me out of here. And I will get started immediately. Hurry! Hurry! There's not a moment to lose! Yay! It's completed. So that's every single map in the game completed. All of them. That's a perfect completion there. We have all of the plaques. All of them. I'm thinking we should be missing one trophy. Which we are. Okay, so I'm going to do reverse order here. This is the last table. It gets filled last. And these are all the things that, that's completely filled. This is the middle table. It, of course, is completely filled. This is the last table. It should be missing one item. And you see everything on the lower shelf is there. We're missing one item in the upper shelf, and that's the item from the next room. It's not on any map. And I showed you that in the special. <clears throat> so, uh, we'll take a tour of what the next step is while we get the uh, last... Um, it page. is complete. No. So this is the completion Let stuff. Let us see where Galfroy is out. taking oh, I can't Alcorn. move. Okay, so I've cut out the portions of the video here where they were telling the story. Uh, you can see that on your own. That way we don't spoil that part. But we do need to come over here. You have to turn this for 10 stars. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, for good measure, I hit it. And then as we go back, find we have the last item. Now, if you have not already watched the video labeled special, then you don't need to see it now because all of that, all that was, was to get that last cage. Okay, we now have everything. Everything here, and everything there is marked yellow. It's complete. We should have all of the colors. Yeah. Now, the next step is you will go through that portal and you will fight your master. You just fight him. He's going to end up spawning a bunch of stuff on you. Uh, as I said before, I will make a video that gives you a bit of a narration of the fight. You don't need me to actually fight it for you because there are no secrets, there are no puzzles. There is a trick though that if you don't know it, you're just going to die a lot, a lot, a lot until you figure it out. So I will explain that to you in the next video. Other than that, have fun.